Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Rapid City Police are asking for the public's help in finding a missing girl. The department says the 13-year-old was last seen being dropped off at South Middle School Monday morning. She has shoulder-length black and purple hair and was wearing a gray hoodie, black pants, black and white shoes, and was possibly carrying a black backpack. If you have any information on where she may be, you are asked to call police. 22-year-old Jackson Phillips has pleaded not guilty to the murder of 20-year-old Randy Gerlock. Gerlock's body was found on March 1st, and initially Phillips was only charged with domestic abuse. Following the completion of Gerlock's autopsy, murder charges were added against Phillips. Appearing for the first time in person at the Lincoln County Courthouse yesterday, Phillips pleaded not guilty. If convicted, he could face a sentence of life in prison. In less than two months, the Senate will begin its impeachment trial of Attorney General Jason Roundsburg. On Friday, the legislature announced the rules senators will follow during the trial. As part of the rules, Roundsburg may once again not have to testify or even appear in person. On Monday, we talked with Joe Beaver's cousin Victor and Nick Nemec. They are disappointed the attorney general won't be forced to testify about killing their cousin. It seems like if you truly wanted to plead your case and truly felt you had done nothing wrong, then you had to stand up and say it in front of people. Since this whole thing started, he's been doing everything he can to avoid uncomfortable situations. Both men say the case has dragged on too long after t and after 20 months, they are ready for some closure. Also, Kettleland News has learned that Sioux Falls lawyer Mike Butler will represent Roundsburg during the Senate impeachment proceedings. Pennington County State's Attorney Mark Vargo and Clay County State's Attorney Alexis Tracy will manage the other side. The South Dakota Supreme Court is set to hear oral arguments today and tomorrow in Rapid City. One case that has our attention is State v. Krause. The case focuses on a fire at the home of Jacqueline Krause. According to the case summary, a Sioux Falls Fire and Rescue Inspector wrote that the fire was unintentional. However, according to an investigator, Krause was shown on video with a box comparable to a matchbox as she entered a room which the inspector determined to be where the fire began. Krauss was charged with arson, but she filed a motion for an acquittal, which was denied. You'll be able to watch live coverage of the South Dakota Supreme Court's term later today, right here on Kelloland.com. Turning to weather now with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Our winds are dying down, Brian. Yeah, good news there today. Our forecast warming up. Let's have a look at the latest numbers on Futurecast as we begin the day in the teens and 20s east. We've had some 30 degree weather in western Kettle Land this afternoon. Sioux Falls area close to 60. We should be at least well up into the low to mid 50s around Aberdeen. And the winter Valentine area, we're shooting for 70s there. Dry ground helps a lot. Rapid City 68. Now we have some important changes. Chances of rainfall by the end of the week are looking better. We'll take a closer look in just a few minutes. Thank you, Brian. It's Severe Weather Awareness Week here in South Dakota. Tomorrow, the city of Sioux Falls will be holding its annual community tornado drill. The city encourages residents, schools, and businesses to practice their severe weather plans at this time. Outdoor warning sirens will be activated at 10.15 a.m. Around 2,500 FFA members are back on the SCSU campus this week for the state convention. The 94th annual FFA convention is back in Brookings this year for the first time since 2019. Students say they are excited to be back together and doing what they love. The atmosphere is super excited. Kids are glad to be back, advisors are glad to be here, and the overall ability to go back to normal and do career development events and get to know each other even more has really been an exciting opportunity and the members are really glad to be back. During the event, members participate in career development events, attend workshops and career fairs, and meet other students from across the state. Happening today, a new restaurant is opening in eastern Sioux Falls. Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers will open its first South, South Dakota location at Dolly Farms. Work on a second location near the Empire Mall will start soon. In tonight's Your Money Matters, we'll take a look at that and other restaurants coming to the area. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue and the Helpline Center are coming together to make sure residents have working smoke alarms. 
That includes providing the alarms and replacement batteries. A press conference will be held at 9.30 this morning to talk about the new partnership. Kelloland News will be there and will bring you the details later today. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right. Well, on the big picture here, a couple of uh, talking points as we go through this extended forecast. We're watching the chances of precipitation, and really our focus gets uh, more inclined to looking at that by Friday, Saturday, into Sunday. Not to say we can't see a few things ahead of that, but probably more scattered in nature. Let's see how this comes out. So Friday into the weekend, this is a large dip or a trough in the jet stream, and there's an upper level low connected to that. We see a fairly good fetch moisture. That's one connecting piece that's really important. You've got to get some depth to the moisture supply coming out of the southeast. The one thing that's in our advantage here is the fact that we are forecasting as several days of either easterly winds or southeasterly winds. And so eventually what that's going to do is it'll tap into some Gulf of Mexico moisture. That low comes out of the Rockies. And then at some point here through the weekend, we think that that thing will actually kind of stall out, which in terms of the weather, you know, just trying to be outside, not exactly the best weekend. I'll be upfront with you on that. But on the flip side of the token, you know, when you look at the drought and the needs for moisture, this is encouraging news. It is uh, phrased with proceed with caution. We can still see some storm track changes, so we want to be careful about that as far as who gets how much rain. If anything, North Dakota has been getting a lot. There's no question about that. And so some of these areas are favored again. But I would say a this time around, it's looking a little bit more widespread. And if that weren't enough, there's even a little shot coming out on Monday, kind of noticing that. That's why it's in the seven-day forecast. And then at the end of this 10-day cycle, there's another trough coming in. So we'll see what that brings. If that keeps up, you know, probably lends itself to a wetter pattern. Again, this is probably the most uh, moisture we've had on a 10-day forecast map in a long time. So it is worth your attention. Let's wrap up with our forecast. 60 today, Sioux Falls. Before all that uh, active weather gets here, looks very nice and pleasant today. 65 Mitchell. Your seven day forecast will keep some 60 degree weather going, which helps these soil temps a little bit. I do think by the weekend, 50% chance of rain Sioux Falls. We're at least at that level. And my hope is that we can get that number to go up a little bit more. We'll kind of take that one step at a time. Aberdeen, we have already elected to go 70% chances of rain on Saturday. And still a pretty good chance of wraparound showers and chilly weather on Sunday. You can count on the wind cranking up as that area of low pressure swings through the Midwest. I would say probably initially Sioux Falls and our eastern counties will go with a southeast wind pretty strong. And western and central South Dakota, you know, for Pierre to go 30 to 50 percent chances of rain five days in a row, that's pretty good, uh, pretty important. Uh, you know, we're not to the point where we're promising, you know, widespread heavy rain, but at least it's some moisture coming. And we got to start somewhere, right? Rapid City 2, 60s as we wrap up the week. Check out all the details. A good weather update right now posted online at kettleland.com.